Life in the castle was very uncomfortable and gloomy. Luckily, it was safe. Many things went on in the castle, looking after children, farming, training, cutting wood, making weapons, guarding, but sometimes there were very important ceremonies. Watch one of them. The king and queen are coming.
Preparing for the knighthood lasted for a long time. It started at a very young age, at the age of seven years old. Those young boys received an education and learned the skills required as a knight. It was the duty of a knight to know how to fight and serve their lord according to the code of chivalry. Weapons practice included enhancing skills in the handed sword, battle axe, mace, dagger, lance. It fostered such qualities as honor, valor, and loyalty. Here, we'll introduce a scene of taking the oath in the knighthood ceremony. These sacred oaths were connected with the ideals of chivalry and strict rules of etiquette and conduct. Today it's the extraordinary day. In a moment, Zavisha will be one of noblemen. Therefore, you will have to follow the code of chivalry. Remember, all your life protect knight's customs. Protect weak and defenseless. Give succor to widows and orphans. I swear, I will. Live by honor and for glory. I swear, I will. Treat women with respect and defend them. I swear, I will. Despise pecuniary reward. I swear, I will. Fight for the welfare of all. I swear, I will. Don't kill not armed foe. I swear, I will. Guard the honor of fellow knights. I swear, I will. Issue unfairness, meanness and deceit. I swear, I will. At all times to speak the truth. I swear, I will. I'm giving you a sword and I'm joining you to nobleman. You are the knight. Your Majesty, Prince John of Aragon has just come. He wants to talk to you. Let him come. will be open tomorrow. I've heard about Zavisha who wins tournaments. Zavisha is a very skillful knight. Aren't you afraid? Your Majesty, let me try. That's fine.
In a moment, you all will be a witnesses of a very important event. Zavisha de Black and John of Aragon will take part in the tournament. Zavisha de Black defeated John of Aragon with a single feat of a sword. Since then, he became one of the most famous knights of medieval Europe. They had political purposes, impressed the populace and guests, as well as the courage of the participants. Loyalty to the Lord and Lady was expressed through clothes and increasingly elaborate enactments. Tournaments also served cultural purposes. Tournaments also served cultural purposes. Loyalty to the Lord and Lady was expressed through clothes and increasingly elaborate enactments. Tournaments also served cultural purposes. As the ideas of culture love became more influential, women played a more important role in the events. They were often held in honor of a lady, and they were participated in the play acting and symbolism. You are free. Thank you so much, sir. I'm so grateful. Zavisha joined the forces of Hungarian King Sigismund of Luxembourg in his crusade against Ottoman Turks, for it ended with a defeat under Nicopolis. He proved to be an excellent warrior. It was 1410. Zawisza returned to Poland when it was clear that the war with the Teutonic Order was inevitable. Before the battle, two heralds are coming to see King Władysław Jagiełło.
your majesty. Urlish von Jungingen is challenging you and prince without us to fight. He's giving you these two swords to make you more courageous. Your majesty, he also suggested giving you more place on battlefield. Just you wouldn't have to stay in brushwood. Although we have enough swords, I will take it over as a good woman. battles of medieval Europe. After the victorious battle, the Black Knight joined the Black Knight proposed the treaty between King Jagiełło of Poland and King Sigismund of Luxembourg of Hungary. Then he joined the forces of Sigismund for the last time during the Battle of Golubets, being a man of importance, he was personally sent for by the King Sigismund, while the rescue of the troops was still in progress. He sent off the boat. He decided to stay with his comrades rather than to escape. Since then, there has been the proverb in Poland. You can rely on somebody like on Zafisha.
and honorable. W pierwszej części zobaczą Państwo tańce łańskie, w drugiej natomiast tańce z regionu lubelskiego. Życzymy Państwu miłego wieczoru. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, Polish for the guy has just welcomed you. Polish national dances called Polones by Friedrich Chopin. In the first part of our performance you will see dances and songs coming from Napoleon time and after the break you will see dances and songs uh, coming from Lublin area. We wish you a nice evening. Thank you very much.
gentlemen, we want to invite you to dance with us. And it will be polonaise. Uh, so who wants to try? <laughs>